Hey, what's going on everyone? Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to offline update your Xbox One or Series X or S console, which involves the process of creating an Xbox offline system update USB flash drive, then updating your console with it. The general reason for the end user to perform an offline system update would be that if the device is showing either a black screen at startup or this crash screen that says something went wrong along with a system error code. What you'll need for this tutorial is an 8GB minimum USB-A flash drive, a PC currently running Windows, and obviously one of the Xbox variants shown in this video, such as an Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox Series S, or Xbox Series X. Note that although this tutorial involves Windows 11, the steps are very similar with Windows 10. In addition, I will be using Google Chrome as the main browser for this video instead of Microsoft Edge. Step 1. Formatting the USB drive. So right now, I have my USB currently inserted into the PC with the drive letter E. At this point, you'll need to right click to bring up the file explorer options, then click on format. At this point, you will be greeted with this window. You will then click on the file system tab and select the NTFS format with the allocation unit size to be 4096 bytes. Although you can name the volume label anything you want, I'm just going to call the drive OSU. I will have quick format enabled and then you can press start. It will give you a warning that all data will be erased, so we can press OK at this point. Once it says format complete, we can move to the next step. Step 2. Downloading and copying the offline update image to the flash drive. For this step, we'll need to go onto the Xbox website. To do that, we can simply type in Google Xbox Offline Update and click on the link that says Perform an Offline System Update. I will also provide a direct link in the video description. From this site, we have detailed instructions on what to do when downloading the Xbox Offline Update. Now, there are special steps for the original Xbox One console in regards to having additional updates but that's generally if you haven't turned on your Xbox since 2015 or 2016, which I heavily doubt is the case for most users. As such, we will go to the first section that says all Xbox consoles except the original Xbox One. Click on step one and click on the green text that says OSU1. This will automatically begin the download of the OSU, which can be around 15 minutes or more depending on your internet connection speed. If you have an original Xbox One, go to the second section that says Original Xbox One Console Only instead. Click on Step 5 and click on the green OSU One text to begin your download instead. Once the download is complete, we can go to our Downloads folder and we will have the OSU One zip file in it. Since Windows has a built-in zip extractor, you can double-click the zip file and you should see a folder that says System Update. What you then need to do is just drag that folder to the root of the USB flash drive, just like this. Once the copying is complete, your OSU flash drive is now ready to use with your Xbox. At this point, you are ready to perform the offline system update on the Xbox. To do this, you will have to boot into the Xbox troubleshooting menu. Make sure your Xbox is completely powered off at first. To ensure that is the case, have it unplugged for around 30 seconds. Now for booting into the troubleshooting menu, the sync button location would depend on which Xbox console you own. Next, you can plug in the console, then hold down the sync button and press the power button, which will cause the first chime. Continue holding the sync button until you hear a second chime from the console. The connected display should immediately show the troubleshoot menu with four different options. Either continue booting as normal, offline system update which is currently greyed out, resetting your Xbox to factory settings, or turning off the Xbox. Now you'll have to first turn on your controller, then you have to use the Xbox D-pad to choose the different options due to the low level host OS interface. At this point, we will plug in our OSU flash drive into one of the Xbox's USB ports. The OSU option should brighten up upon detecting the drive. Select that option, and press A on your Xbox controller. You should immediately be taken to a screen that says preparing console, and a few seconds later, you should see the update screen. Now this will take around 10 to 15 minutes, so you can take a break at this point. When the update is complete, you should be either greeted with the regular Xbox dashboard, or the first setup screen. 
If you are still having startup issues, you may need to enter the troubleshooting menu again, select reset your Xbox, and you can choose to either keep your games and apps or remove everything. So this was a tutorial on how to offline update your Xbox One or Xbox Series console. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.